Epic Games' new motion matching example project looks great in third person. Turning it into a first person project is really easy as well. Here's how it's done. Let's open the sandbox character. In here we need to retarget the spring arm to the character mesh component. Make sure it's parented to the character's head bone. And reset its location. In the variables find the camera style aim variable. We will repurpose this into our first person view. Set the spring arm length to 0, the socket offset to 9, 0 and 10, and the translation lag speed to 50. I will also set the FOV to something like 95. This will allow me to see a little bit more of my character's hands and body. Now in the event graph find the aim input action. We will repurpose this into a toggle of our first person view. Simply get a reference to the once to aim variable, negate it, and change the trigger to the started value. And with that you're done! Now when pressing the trigger or right mouse button we are able to switch between first and third person view. You also get the turn in place animations and all the strafing working properly. Mantling also works as expected. Now there's one small issue which is easy to fix as well. If we get too close to a wall it's easy to clip into it. But we can simply fix this by changing the capsule size of our capsule component and moving our character model further back. I hope you found this video helpful and thank you for watching.